Welcome back to Garzy Girl Boxing. It's your man Coltrane. Riding Dolo for the evening. Shout out to the squad. Sleep. About to die. Big Mike who like knockouts. Oh, make sure y'all give Big Mike a shout. Last week was Big Mike's birthday. GYGB is in full party mode. Let me get right into it. Continue to pre help preserve the best sport in the world, and that's the sport of boxing. But real quick, you know, I want to give a few shout outs, you know, to a few, few, few special cats that's a part of GYGB, and to the new people out there, you probably see them. They probably, you know, aired you out, you know, beneath in the text uh, portion of the show, beneath under these videos, and that's my dude, Volley Boy, Dirk Diggler, Oxy, you know, Money May, GO87, you know, what I mean, uh. Jafar Martin, Ring King 187, uh, AC Milan, Barney Boy 951. Uh, the list goes on, man. I pause anybody I'm forgetting. Oh, my dude Sewer Rat, who always shows up four or five in the morning on, on, on his on his on his creep. You know, Sewer Rat comes in four or five in the morning, but he always got some good insight. You know, um, dudes hit me up behind the scenes saying, you know, they don't like posting to the show because of those few names I just mentioned. Well, look, man. Them cats, they're passionate about the sport of boxing. And all I got to say to those people that, that complain to me, I appreciate that y'all watch the show and, you know, that y'all want to be a part of the show, but get your slickness together. You know, you come on GYGB 3 in the morning saying something reckless about Ricky Hatton, you know, you better watch your blind side because Dirk Diggler is coming for you, you know. And that's just how GYGB coming. And then you got the big homie on the West Coast, Volley Boy, you know, you know, he got... He got his, you know, his his favorites like every 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 fight fan has, and Paul Williams happened to be one. If you come talking reckless about Paul, he gonna holler at you, or just about the sport in general, or about this show. So, much love to y'all cats, man. Y'all make this thing go. I love y'all, man. Y'all the family out there, and I appreciate the way y'all hold us down when the haters come on the board. But you know, ain't nothing moving GYGB, man. We're still forced. So let's get right into it, real quick. I wanted to recap last week's fight. With uh, Jeff Lacey and uh, Joel Julio. Um, Jeff Lacey, I'm sorry. <laughs> and that wasn't a joke. That was a actually sleeping them ain't here. So ain't no editing going on with this show. So this is real raw and uncut. You know, I don't even have an intro for the show. Sleep was like, man, you messing the bread. No, no it's all love. The intro's coming. Sleep going to lay the intro down tight. But um, uh, James Kirkland versus uh, Joel Julio. You know, y'all know what happened. Uh, Julio quit on his stool from the overwhelming onslaught of punches from Kirkland, who reminds me of Jeff Lacey, which is why I called him Jeff Lacey by accident. But, you know, Kirkland, he is what he is. He's a strong, fast kid. He got a nice story uh, to his uh, to his fight, you know, to his career, rather. Um, his fight game, you know, it's 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 reckless, you know, anti-science, shout out to Volley Boy. But it's entertaining. It's, it's what boxing, you know... The, these boxing networks networks like to promote and like like to put on is the guy that comes in to destroy. And that's what Kirkland does. He's not there to win on points. He's looking to air everything out. So, you know, Joel, he was flabby, which is a bad sign for a young fighter coming into a fight. So when he come, you know, coming in looking flabby like that. I thought Joel this would be his get back. A few years are back, 
he was dubbed to be that next one of the next big things in boxing. Uh, he got outboxed by Carlos Cantana. Now both of them are nowhere to be found in the sport, <laughs> which is amazing. But that's boxing for you. It's, it's, it's a uh, revolving door in the sport of boxing. But, you know, much success to him and Wolf, who's gangsters as they come. Uh, you know, she's so gangster that she got my man Dirk wide open, vision her in a two-piece, which is frightening in itself. But, uh, you know, so that, 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 that's pretty much it for me on Kirkland. Uh, I wish him, I wish him well. You know, I hope he turns out to have a good career. Just keep him away from Paul Williams. I also see Sergio Martinez giving him trouble. But, you know, one thing real quick, one thing he does well is go to the body, which I, you know, which, which is actually a good thing. Jeff Lacey used to throw a lot of, uh, haymakers but Kirkland will try to go to the body and break you down but you know when Lacey got the career beat out of him by Joe Kawasaki you know once he stepped it up a notch from fighting the Robin Reeds of the world I think unfortunately the same thing is going to happen to Kirkland like any roller coaster ride or any thrill ride it only lasts for a few minutes and then the thrill is gone all right let's move right along um oh quick news David Hay Little Bro Klitschko is finally getting it on June, I think, 20th, uh, somewhere. I, 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 think, I, I forget where the fight is actually at. I don't have anything in front of me. I know it's overseas, somewhere over the pond. I'm sure the family will tell me where it's at beneath here. But, um, look, man, I don't really have nothing personal against Hey. It's just I critique this fight game. I think it's it's suspect. But, hey, man, he's refreshing. He talks. I actually like talking, which is going to bring me to my Money May sport. It's refre refreshing for the sport to not to get the robotic, you know, I'm not looking past my opponent type of speech you normally get. So, you know, it, it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a lot of fireworks. I don't see Hay winning, nor do I expect him to win. But, um, you know, I give him props for taking on the big bad wolf. And he's getting paid for it, which is always important. So, that's coming. Mark your calendar for that. Um... Jermaine Tell and Carl Froch is finally popping off. That's going out April 25th, I believe. GYGB will going to be in a, probably be in the building for that. That's taking place in Connecticut. Um, this weekend we got uh, Marco, Marco Antonio Barrera, who actually who's who Sewer Red is actually picking to win the fight. You know, but Sewer Red that yeah, we keep that's our little inside joke. I know why you picking him, but you know I think Marco Marco Antonio Barrera is going to be in this fight, but. That's it. You know, I think that he, 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 he's seen his better days. And we have some old veterans turning the time, you know, turn the clock back. You know, you Bernard Hopkins. But Bernard Hopkins never really got old, you know. He was outworked by Kyle Zaki, but he never looked shot and old like he was done. Barrera is done, in my opinion. If he wins, hey, look, I've always been a Barrera and Morales guy. They brought great, great things to this lovely sport of boxing. So, you know, as a part of me, want to see him win. Then I feel bad for Amir because he got done greasy by his handlers by putting him in, putting him in the ring with a six one, uh, hard hitting Colombian lightweight that nobody obviously did their scouting report on, and which is shocks me for a guy like Warren to actually you know have a slip up like that. But I'm picking Amir Khan by knockout, and we'll see what happens with him later. You know, um, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Show previous to this one. I made some comments. I said Floyd Mayweather was the greatest of the 2000s. What I meant by that, he's not unbeatable. He can lose. You know, there's, you know, we, we went over a few fighters that can possibly give him a tr give him some trouble in the tech when we was going back and forth, chopping it up in the tech section. But look, when I said Floyd Mayweather is great, you could talk to anybody in any boxing gym, you know, any fighters that you happen to know, and ask them strictly skill wise who's the best fighter's generation. Got every punch in the book. Got the shoulder roll down to a science that you'll see pretty much everybody trying to do, but nobody mastered it like Floyd. Much as I love sweepy, sweepy defense was more of a of an athletic reflex type type situation. And granted, I thought sweepy D was better, but like I said, it was more athleticism. Floyd actually transformed his body into you know uh, being a defender uh, with the with the vicious shoulder roll, the chin tuck. All the punches are accurate. They're straight down the pike. Yeah, he his foot his lateral footwork is all off off the meter. It's it's just Floyd just does everything smart. He has no bad habits. You know, um, he's always training despite the parting. Y'all may see him. He's just the ultimate professional. I know he makes it rain. He gets on your, gets under your skin saying he's the greatest of all time. He's not the greatest of all time. He's just the greatest of the two thousands. This could be an ongoing debate. You know, just as just one man's opinion. You know, it's 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 not factual. It's just all opinion. I just thank you the best. Coffee with Coltrane, ColtraneGYGB at gmail.com. Holla at me, y'all. We here, man, every Monday night. Get at me.